Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Plastic EP and Sabin Show. It's our pleasure to have one of the greatest musicians out there, a lifelong Beatle, because that's what he is, an original member of the Beatles, Mr. Pete Best from Liverpool. And let me tell you, Pete, the world loves you. Yeah. Well, it's nice of you to say that, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah. also, you've made me. <laughs> okay, but look at this. I want to show you something. I've got number. You're familiar <laughs> with this one, right? I've got number 243 of 10,000 signed by you. And I want to, I want you to know that this, this takes pride and place in my home. That, that's a fantastic picture. I love that. Yeah, that's the one outside the cabin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a good shot. Yeah. It's a great shot. yeah. <laughs> I've got your fantastic book there, The Pink Best Story. How great's that? <laughs> the first yeah. one. The first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah the original. Yeah. One with Look at uh, that. Not only that, that. I've yeah. got this one. I've got this one. You've got Yay. the last one, the true beginnings. Yeah. Yay. Signed by you, stuff. Pete. Today we're going to be talking about the newly renovated Casbah Club and what a book to get right, where the Beatles started from, the Casbah yeah. Club, yeah. True Beginnings. What a fantastic book this is written by all of yeah. you. That's a yeah, different that's, cover. That's the one. You've got the brown one. You've got the soft. Uh, that's a different the cover, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Both of them. I've got like, look, what's the back of your book, Plastic? I've I told you it's got one. stars. Ah. Yeah, you, you've got the McCartney ceiling, haven't you? You've got the rainbow ceiling on the back of your book. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, Pete, tell us, I want you to know that when you started renovating the Casbah Club, that was big news here in Australia and everyone knew about it before you started. So would you be kind enough to tell everybody now, bring everyone up to speed on what what now the renovation you've done, how much accommodation you've got there. We want everyone to start booking to come to the Casbah. Yeah. Okay, so talking about the Casbah Club itself now, um, that is now back on a tourist track. Of course, everyone who knows who's seen the true beginnings has basically realised how important the Casbah Club is. And it still stands today in its total entirety. It's the only original club in Liverpool which the Beatles helped decorate. And you can see it yeah. today. Oh, let me see now. McCartney's rainbow ceiling, John's Aztec ceiling, George's salmon yeah. ceiling, uh, my spider's web, Cynthia's portrait of John Lennon over the fireplace, the stars on no. the ceiling. It's all there. So you've got to come to the Casbah Club. Yeah, I've now, got to stay there. Beetle Week. To, okay. Beetle Week. Fine. Now, <laughs> when you come to the Casbah Club, as from August the 1st, we are now opening the Casbah Coffee Club Suites, Ooh. which is the house above the Casbah, which was our family home, right? And we converted into five fantastic suites. The McCartney Suite, the Lennon Suite, the Harrison Suite, Sutcliffe Suite, and of course, the Best Suite. Yes. And Bookable now on Airbnb from August 1. Now, if you stay here, right, in these fantastic suites and look at them online, you'll see them for yourself. You will have stayed where the Beatles played. You will have stayed where the Beatles practiced. You will have stayed where the Beatles slept. You will have stayed where the Beatles frolicked. <laughs> where else can we do that apart from at the <laughs> Coffee Club suites? You've got to book it in. Okay. You know what? You're going to have all the international fans flocking, Pete, because they are going to totally fall in love with this. I mean, well, that's what we're hoping. That's what we're yeah. hoping. You well, know, as we I want said, it to I be think... busy and we want mourners, you know, yeah. memory to be kept alive because so of what we're doing. I wanted to ask you, Pete, because going back to, to 1959, wasn't it? So your mum your mom must have had a very great business acumen, uh, a business brain to, to, to start this all off because it was her idea, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so. I remember sitting there, we were watching a TV programme about the Two Eyes Coffee Club in London. Yeah. And at the end of it, uh, for those of you who don't know the Two Eyes Coffee Club, where they, they spawned the likes of Cliff Richards and the Shadows and Tony yeah. Sheridan and all those great rockers. And uh, at the end of it, she turned around to me and she went, we've got sellers downstairs in the club, Pete, haven't we? And I turned around and said, yes. And she went, how do you think about turning it into a coffee club where we wow. could play music? And I turned around and said, sounds fantastic. I said, who's going to do that? She said, you are. Right? <laughs> so the following morning, <laughs> get a gang of friends. 
for about the next six months, the back garden, which is about half an acre, right, mm. um, just looked like a construction site, right? We had concrete in there, we had timber in there, we had oil flex, you name it. And uh, it virtually got to the stage. Around about August 1959, and we were getting ready to open, and we needed a band. But it was all because of Mona's vision. And right. the way the club was decorated and what happened with it, all Mona's vision. And if it hadn't have been for Mona, oh. how she was the house, you know, which is another story completely, you know, would never yeah. sit when she pulled 29th over. of August, 1959. That's right, yeah. Yeah. My Saturday birthday. Night. Yeah. Saturday I was night. born in 59. That's a you good year. You were born in 59. I was. Well, I was born in 41, so I've got a few years on it. Okay. <laughs> I want to say with the Casbah Club, this is fantastic news. And I take my hat off to you and Rogue, right, and the best family because you're so much of a part of Liverpool, so much of a part of uh, Beatle history, especially with Mona, who pushed the Beatles from the start and tried to help them in show business so much. She deserves mm. so much credit. You agree? Yeah. Yeah, very much so. You know, I've just turned around and said if it hadn't been for Mona, a lot of this wouldn't have happened. You know, maybe mm. there wouldn't have been a Casper, maybe there would have never been yeah. a Beatles, maybe I wouldn't have been talking to Plastic and yourself have been. <laughs> Who knows, you know, but that's the way life's gone. So we all, yeah, yeah. you know, this humble yeah. woman is now through us, and I'm glad to say, you know, we're, we're keeping her memory alive and giving her of the course. recognition now, which she so truly deserves, you know. Oh, fantastic. And, and so have you, we must have a big VIP list uh, organised for the first. Have you got that? organized yeah we've got a you know we, we're having a, a, a launch day uh which will be august one we're back from tour from america and uh it, it's all in preparation you know we're starting to get you know the press involved and all the rest yeah. of it. So come august i'd like 1. to be there i'd like to be there <laughs> well you can get there you come over we'll i love liverpool i love liverpool up there every year <laughs> well you better come back again then haven't you i know Everybody that comes to Liverpool, they've got to come to your family's places. Like, as I said, the museum that you got now with the Casbah, I mean, you people put your money mm. there and you're what you're doing is promoting Liverpool so much and we want everybody from around the world, Beatle fan or not, to come to the hotel, the yeah. Casbah, to come to the museum, to come and enjoy Liverpool and yeah. see everybody else there, their businesses as well because... It's the home of the Beatles, and there's no other place in the world. I mean, Liverpool people, to me, are so warm and so fantastic people. And talking to you today, I just want to tell you, it's a real honour to speak to yourself. And, you know, I, even I'm so proud of what you guys have done, Rogue with the oh. uh, museum and yourself with the Casbah, yeah. and you promote yeah. the Beatles and never stopping. Yeah. Well, we're proud of it as well. So, you know, it's... It's lovely that you're trying to get it out there for us because yeah. we want the whole world to know about yeah. Casper. Well, you know, more Rogers... about the Casper coffee sweets. You know, yeah. everyone's got to come and stay here. That's yeah. what we we want. The rooms full, three hundred and sixty-five days. Yeah. Here. Yep, yeah. That's it. You know, and you'll meet what... the family as well because it's a family-run hotel. We're yeah. going to be involved as well. So. And I, I love the way that Rogue has been um, updating us on Facebook, on social media. This is the George Harrison door. That that you know was a recent thing, wasn't it? So, yeah. um, you know, he's updating us all the time on Facebook and saying, "Here's what we've done lately, and this is what we're doing now, and this is, you know, hopefully this is all going to, you know, it's all going to be done, it's all going to be finished uh, in time for the first of August." So, you know, it, it, he's been updating us all the time, Pete. It's fantastic to see the progress. Well, um, to share, we're it with very us. proud of what we've done, um, yeah. and he's very proud to get it out there. He wants people to be aware and see, yeah. you know, the transformation. Yeah. He's doing a fantastic there. job. <laughs> we're proud yeah, of it. We're proud of it. You know, you got to see it for yourself. Got to see it for yourself. We're Have all you? coming, Pete. We're all coming to meet you as <laughs> well. On, road. I'll come from Australia. I'll get a road boat and I'll come. <laughs> Who can yeah. you hear? Come on, come on. <laughs> this is really good. I want Beatle people to know this. In 1967. On the Sgt. Pepper album, John Lennon contacted your family and wanted to use your family medals. Can you explain that one to me? Yeah, Sgt. Pepper. Um, yeah. Years ago when the Mona used to regale them with stories about the East when they opened, you know, when they were playing at the Casbah Club, as the Quarrymen and as the Beatles, um, 
They used to come up into the kitchen and it was very much a case. Mona would regale them with stories about the East. And she mentioned that, you know, my father, uh, not my father, her father, my grandfather had been a, um, in, in the, the army in India and he'd won medals. And they asked to see the medals and Mo very proudly brought the medals down and showed them to John and the, the rest mm. of the boys. Years later, John remembered that. And for Sergeant Pepper, he got in touch with Mo and turned around and said, Mona, he said, I remember you turning around and saying that your father's medals, military medals, um, if it was at all possible, could we borrow them for Sergeant mm. Pepper? And she turned around and said, yeah, it can happen, but for God's sake, please ensure that I get them back. Yeah. Okay, that was the guarantee. And John turned around and said, Mona, he said, I will promise I will get them back for you. Hence, Sergeant Pepper, you look on the suits, you see my granddad, Mona's dad's military medals that John's wearing with great pride. And that's wow. how it came. And he made sure the medals came back. Okay. Oh. In the museum now. You can see them in the museum now. Brilliant. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Pete, I'm going to ask you for Anthology One. I've got to tell you, that's a fantastic. Uh... CD that I've got, and you're playing on it. I mean, I'm honest with you, it's magnificent. To have played mm. on those tracks and finally get them released, and as I said, it must have been one of your proudest moments in your life when that was released and every Beatle fan was anticipating the release of Anthology 1, especially here in Australia. Everyone went and out bought that straight away. Well, yeah, I mean, Anthology 1 was something special, wasn't it? You yeah, know, the yeah. fact that I ended up being on 10 tracks on it, uh, I suppose the way I looked at it was fine. It's a little bit of payback for my contribution, the two years I was with them, you know, yeah. and it showed that I did play an important part. You know, yeah, absolutely. So thank you for it. You know, it, it's lovely yeah. that you, you know, considered me and... Yeah. Gave you the honour of being on the anthology and, oh. you know, doing 10 tracks. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Peter, I want to say to you on Anthology 1, don't worry. I fixed the cover and I put your head back on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Pete, the memories from Hamburg. What was the highlight for you, personally? Did you, is there anything particularly? Well, the, the memories from Hamburg, I mean, let, let's put it this way. We went out there as a very mediocre band. Um, we did not realise that we were going to be playing in the biggest red light district in the world. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we had a job to do. You know, we got told that we were going to play six, seven hours a night, six, seven nights a week. Mm. The weekends, we'd be playing 12 hours a night. That's hard work. Of... So it was a lot of hard work. Yeah. So you could basically turn around and say, I always look back with Hamburg and turn around and said. That's where my musical education came to fruition, okay, because of the long hours. Mm. And it was also an enhancement of my sexual education as well <laughs> because of being in the San Pauli <laughs> district. So we were young people. We were healthy. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. You know, so well, we make business with pleasure. That's know. all rock and roll. That's, that's how it goes, you know. I'm just saying the Beatles in the le leather suits, you don't beat that, and you're there. It's so raw, you know, it's all raw because yeah. I'll tell you what, in 2024, you are a music living legend, you know, and every day you wake up, you don't know how big your legacy out there is in the world. And mm. it's just like, it's just such an honour to talk to you, Pete. For me, yeah. it's been to talk to you. And as I said, what Rogan you are doing in Liverpool it's just amazing, and it's got everyone's attention. Believe me, out there in the world, they know what you're doing. And now with the Casbah now fully renovated and ready to go, yeah. we just want people to go out there now, start booking rooms and coming and meeting Pete and meeting Rogue and going to yeah. the museum. There are two places yeah. there in Liverpool that you just got to go to. I mean, I yeah. can't even wait to go yeah. to the museum to see what's in there. And after we spoke about your family's medals, I mean... This is a mind blowing. It must incredible. have so many fantastic things in the museum. Yeah. Well, you've got to look you look at it from our point of view as well, guys. Um, you know, Mona gave us the Casbah. Okay. She gave us the house. <clears throat> We've now opened a museum uh, in Liverpool and Matthew Street. So her legacy and our legacy is growing, and we're bringing yeah. the knowledge of Mona. 
the Beatles in their early infancy, um, the original artifacts, places where people could come and stay, you know, the Cowspell Coffee Club suites now. It's mm. all an extension. It's all part of the plan. Yeah. So enhance, you know, Mona's vision for what she had yeah. and what she gave us. And we want to continue that. We yeah. want to continue that. So everything we can do. <laughs> the Caswell Coffee Club Suites open August the 1st. I can't wait. I can't wait to Liverpool get up to Liverpool. Beers. I can't well, wait. You know, we are proud of what we're achieving and we hope that we can go on achieving. That's that's the big thing. Yeah, yeah. We've got to keep well, achieving. We'll, we'll put the links up, um, you know, for, for the fans, the international fans, whoever, you know, uh, because they will be flocking. I mean, we have got Beatle Week, as you know, we, we've got that coming. Now, that's that's the annual thing that mm -hmm. always happens, you know, the end of August. Yep. So we know that's going on. But this is going to be the highlight, as far as I'm concerned. This is going to be the highlight. And, you know, so we will put the links up and, and the bookies will come in thick and fast, Pete. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I want to book a room. I'm telling you right now, I've got to be, I don't, I don't mind which room it is. I don't mind at all. You know, and I expect a, a full tour when I arrive. Okay, so we will arrange VIP it. VIP treatment, okay. please. You get yourself here, and we'll arrange it. Okay. Okay. VIP cool. treatment. Thank you. Thank well, Pete, I want to say everyone in the world, right, in the US, in the UK, and in Australia, and everywhere else, right, go to the Casbah, go to Liverpool. That is the place to be, the home of the Beatles, and it won't get any better than staying at the Casbah, getting the memories of the young Beatles. And also going to the museum and seeing museum. fascinating items that, like, you know, the real Beatle fan and whether you're a music fan, just go there. You know, the price of admission is nothing compared to the experience. I mean, I'm yeah. like, hey, Pete, I'll tell That's you what, what I want to come to Liverpool. It's unique. It's yeah. unique. I want to come to Liverpool you know. as soon as I can to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah, because what That's... we've got now, we've got a unique experience for Beatle fans, uh, something new. But it's not only just for Beatle fans, okay? If people want to come and feel a part of the history, yeah. and the heritage of what, you know, the best family's about, mm -hmm. you know, non Beatle fanatics, they can come as well. You know, we would yeah. love yeah. It's just a lovely place to stay. Yeah, fantastic. It's, it's and for, the, for the people who can't the make it, it. Sorry? The, for the people who can't make it over to Liverpool maybe this time, uh, would it be an idea to maybe do like a, 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 a tour of the... Of the Casbah and, and museum, and do like a streaming events kind of thing. Would that would that be something that you would consider? Uh, you we're, know, we're talking about it at this present moment in time. Yeah, you know, a virtual tour or something like that. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, just talk of it. You know, we have mentioned it, but at the present no, moment, no, no, no. But that would be an idea because a lot of people maybe have plans and can't come over this time. Mm -hmm. uh, but but for next year. But in the meantime, uh, to give them a flavour of everything that's going on with it in August. Um, that that would be a virtual thing. Would be would be a great idea. I, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. something which we you know Go we would consider, um, and <laughs> it, it's definitely it's one of those things. If yeah. it's in the Casbah Coffee Club Suites, and it's yeah. bring, you know, and the maybe even a new and, book. You know, the the museum and the Casbah yeah. and the Casbah yeah. Coffee Club Suites to an audience that uh -huh. people can't actually get over here. No, with them, you know, it'd be nice yeah. to actually show them. Yeah. what it's all about and what they could be part of mm -hmm. if they ever came here. Yeah. Okay, so and will there be lots of insight. merchandise, Pete? Will there be lots of merch when I arrive? So I love merch. Is it going oh, to be yeah, like yeah. There'll shop? be merchandise from the museum, <laughs> merchandise from the Casbah, yeah. Casbah yeah. Club Suites merchandise, of course. Wherever you are and wherever you be in the world, come over and visit the Casbah, the newly decorated Casbah, and also visit the Casbah Coffee Club Suites. Our new Air and B, which is due to open August the first, twenty twenty-four. Slept, be unique, enjoy yourself where the Beatles slept, played, and enjoyed themselves. You've got to come. You're the best, Pete. A music living legend. We love you, don't we, Sabine? Yeah, that was fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Pete. Really appreciate Thank you. it.